What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, what I want to do is talk about some of the things that is very important that you should consider when you're trying to make a decent amount of money. So here's the thing. I've been in this internet marketing world for a decade now. And in the time that I've been in this internet marketing world, I've done a whole bunch of different things. I've worked in corporate America with businesses like Chase Bank, T-Mobile, Aetna, Cigna, Blue Cross Blue Shield. And I've also worked independently with some big businesses and big brands as well, like Convert.com and, uh, and Built With Science. And you know, there's one thing that I've realized over the time of being able to earn a lot of money. And the thing that I've realized is that it doesn't matter how much money you make if you don't have freedom as a result of that money. So there's been positions that I've been in where I've made, you know, at least in corporate, over $160,000 a year. But I was working nonstop constantly. And so the amount of money that I was paid per hour was significantly less than even periods when I made less than that, right? Because I was basically a slave to my money, right? And so that's when I started to realize that working up the corporate ladder wasn't for me because the more I allocated, the more money I was paid, the more that there was an expectation that I was supposed to work longer hours, you know, over longer periods of time. And I didn't want that to be my reality. And I'm assuming, I would, I would guess that most of you don't want that to be a reality either. And so like, here's the thing, when you're building a business, the number one thing that you have to consider is not only how much money you're going to make, or at least the number one thing that I had to consider was not only how much money it was gonna allow me to make, but also how much time was, was I gonna be able to have? Was I gonna be able to spend time with my friends and my family, travel the world, and do the things that I wanted to do all while running this business? And I feel like I've been able to figure that out, right? I've been able to figure out how to do that. And obviously it's the skill set that I have of SEO, but you can also be a slave to that as well. So you have to have specific systems in place in order to do what you want to do and in order to run the type of business that you want to run that allows you to live the type of lifestyle you want to you want to live. So whenever you're running a business or whenever you're launching a business, you should never start by thinking about how much money am I going to get paid? Because even if you make the most money in the world, but you have no time, then you're not making as much as you think because time is more valuable than money, right? The more things you can do with your time, the more value you will feel in your life and the more you can chase your purpose. And especially if you're a man, you know, that's one of the things that should be most important to you is the money that you make so that you can provide or not provide so that you can live out your purpose that you feel like you was meant for in life. And so like that was something I had to come to the realization of. And now, you know, I'm just I just turned 30 two days ago. It's October 24th right now. I turned 30 on the 22nd. And I'm just I'm just reflecting. And you know, one of the biggest things that I want to do is give back to the next generation of kids simply because I feel like because I didn't have a father in my life that I was held back. And so I don't want to be a, a father or someone, I don't want to replace that title for them, but I want to be sort of like a big brother who can be there helping them towards their goals and helping to facilitate that for them and providing them with the resources that I didn't have. So now that I have a business that allows me to have the freedom that I want, it's literally like, what, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock right now? It's almost 12 o'clock and I'm sitting here recording a video, right? And I have the time to go help out these kids, and so that's what I'm gonna do. But I guess what I wanted to make this video about was just letting you know that you should always aim to follow your purpose in life, whatever you think your purpose is, and the money should be the thing that you use to help support that purpose. For me, I think my purpose in life was to take all the experiences that I've learned and give back to the youth, to provide them with the mentorship that I didn't have and so that's why I'm so passionate about mentoring people in general, because I want to help you get ahead and get further and have a head start, have the head start that I didn't have. So, you know, these are the things that you need to consider, right? 
But it's not just about having a skill, it's also about being able to know how to create processes and systems that allow you to do this, right? And to some degree, if you don't understand how to do that, then you can never have the freedom that you want and the life that you're commanding. Because let's be honest, money is superficial. The reason why we all want money is so that we can have freedom, so we can do whatever we want, right? And so, you know, if you, like, right now, if I really wanted to, I can, I can go fly to Barbados and go visit my family. But you can't. And I'm not, like, looking down on you for that. I'm not saying that, you know, you're bad because you can't do that. I'm just saying that I feel like over the past few years, I've been living like this for for a while now. And I've, I've gotten so used to it that I can't imagine being back in a life where I'm not doing this. And so I can only imagine how bad it sucks to have to wake up every single day to go into an office every day because you have no choice. Now, if you have a choice, it's different. But if you don't have a choice, I can imagine how much that must suck, right? And I'm not saying that I'm exempt for this, from this happening to me because at the end of the day in life, you don't know what's gonna happen. One day you can be up, one day you can be down, and I've had many losses that has demonstrated that to me. So I'm humble, right? But I say that to say that if you have the choice to make the decision to take, to make a, an actionable change in your life that contribu contributes to your greater good, then you should do it. And if the contribution to your greater good is that you need more freedom for you to live out your purpose, then what are you waiting for? Why are you, there's, there's, you know, I make these videos all the time and I don't understand why I get hundreds of people watching, but they don't join, you know, the, the, the programs that I have. Literally, you can join the Discord right now and just to get started, just to get our surface level, to meet other people just like yourself, it's free, right? To talk to me over text in Discord, it's free. And I have all of this knowledge from the last decade of doing this and people still won't take the opportunity to, to move forward and, and do the next thing. So I, I'm at a point where I'm lost for words because I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I can tell you is it's literally October 24th and I'm just sitting here. There's nobody up here except for me and I'm enjoying my life. And it's because I've built, I've, I've allowed myself to do this by building up a business that can support this, right? And so, you know, like, I guess what I want to say is freedom is more important at the end of the day, and that's the biggest goal. And I think any business that rewards freedom is the business model that you should go after. I have friends that work in many different types of businesses. I have a friend who has a junk removal business, and he does very well. But he has to go check the, ju the junk removal sites and make sure everything is done right and, and hold people's hands. And then sometimes he has to do the jobs himself, and I don't want to do that, right? And you could also equally have, you don't even need to have a, a business. You could get a remote job that can, gives you this type of freedom as well. It's just that you need to define what it is that you're aiming for. And that's the problem. Most people haven't defined what it is that they want from life and what it is that they're aiming for. So that's the first thing that you should try to do is like sit down and write out if I wanted to be this person in 10 years and write out what all the attributes are for you to become that person, what would I need to do in order to get here? And literally, how can I kill myself? And I don't mean, well not literally, I mean figuratively, right, metaphorically. You need to kill your old self to become your new self. You need to kill your old habits to develop new ones. You don't need to fix them. You need to completely get rid of them and destroy them. You need to obliterate them. You need to become a brand new person and change Exa everything about how you see the world and everything about your perspective on life, right? Because at the end of the day, everybody has a different story. Everybody has, you know, a different path. Everybody came, everybody, we all came in this world alone, right? And we're all gonna leave out this world alone. So that's why you have to decide for yourself, what is the impact that you wanna leave when it's all said and done. Because you don't have control of your start, but you do have control of your beginning, right? And so, you know, like, I just think overall, you know, I, I just, 
And you, if you don't know, right? Here's about me. For those of you who, do, who, who might not know, I had no idea what I wanted to do growing up. I didn't know what I wanted to do until I stumbled upon Judge Mathis. And I said to myself, well, maybe I should become a judge because I liked the show. But then also, my personality and the way I am as a person is I try to be extremely fair. And I know, and I'm also a Libra, which is funny enough. So because I'm a Libra, and because that's in our zodiac sign, I don't know if there's a correlation. But I'm just a fair person overall. I'm the type of person that I will give you a 100% unbiased opinion, no matter if it hurts your feeling or feelings or not. And I'm also unbiased towards myself, even though a lot of people think that that's that's impossible. But I would say that I am. If I'm wrong, I will admit that I'm wrong. I will accept that I'm wrong, and you know, and that it is what it is. Anyways. I say this to say that, you know, I stumbled across being a judge, so then I went to school for that. Realized, and then in the midst of going to school, you know, my family was going through a lot, and my mom ended up losing her house. And I literally went from, and I had just bought a brand new car, I was working a job as, as a security guard, but I knew that I had my mom in my back pocket because my mom was making a decent amount of money, you know, because, cause like, initially, so I grew up in a struggle. But then we got this house, and when we got this house, it literally changed a whole bunch of things about my life. And my mom, and it was like in Far Rockaway in New York, but it was in like the decent area where all the Jews lived. But in order to get to where I lived, you had to walk through the bad part, right? And so when we got this house, it changed everything. And at that point, when I got my brand new car, I thought that I would be fine with working the job that I had, which I was barely working because my mom had money. So I was like, okay, my mom has money, so if anything happens, I can rely on her. By the way, I did not grow up as an ambitious kid. I became ambitious when when all of the trials and tribulations happened in my life. My mom lost her, you know, we lost the house because my mom was being too nice to people, and after we lost the house, I had to figure out where to live. I, was, I ended up living in a house that was on Jamaica Avenue in New York that was an abandoned house. It was abandoned because it was brand new, but it wasn't finished being built. There was literally no insulation in the house, and I there was no electric. Um, so I used to have to go in there with a generator that I bought from saving up money. There was no insulation, and it was cold. And I used to literally sleep in that house. There used to be squirrels in the house. I used to sleep in the house and take showers at LA Fitness, right? Because I didn't have nowhere to go. Uh, family wouldn't let me stay with them. And that's when I realized, that's when it clicked for me that I had to take control over my own life and I couldn't rely on anybody else. Even though my mom tried her hardest and I'm not taking away anything from what my mom did, right? But that's when it clicked for me. And that's when I was like, okay, I can't, you know, I went to school, but going through all of that at the same time while trying to go to school, and I was also in a relationship, and that relationship wasn't going well because of all the things that I had going on in my life. I said to myself, and I remember, I, I vividly remember her mom, the girl that I was in a relationship with, her mom telling her, why are you with this guy? He has nothing going for him. Like, he is a terrible, like, not terrible person, but he's, he's not right for you. He has nothing going for him. He's a bum. I remember she said that and I remember that vividly and I'm the type of person that when you say something like that I take it personal right when you doubt me I take it personal because I've been doubted my whole life you know from I'm not even gonna get into that but uh, a family member used to doubt me a lot and I never was the type of person who would give up on myself because somebody else doubted me I would rise to the occasion and prove them wrong so I felt like I had a duty to prove her wrong to prove to her that I was going to be more than what she had knew me as and so I worked on myself and when I worked on myself I saw you know a huge improvement I went six years with without talking to people I mean not talking I had friends obviously but I didn't hang out ever never I never hung out you can ask any one of my friends I never hung out with anyone I focused on reading books that will help me level up my knowledge and I also didn't date anyone and I did I was celibate for six years right and I focused and focused and focused on developing a skill that would help me that's how I came across digital marketing and went down this whole rabbit hole so the whole time that I focused on digital marketing my whole goal wasn't even to build a business it was to get a job where I can make sixty thousand dollars a year and the reason why was because I felt like sixty thousand dollars a year was a lot of money right and it still is it's a decent amount of money but it wasn't how much I thought it was gonna be when I first got it anyway that's neither here nor there but that opened me up to 
seeing the opportunities of life. And I figured out along the way, along that journey of learning all these different things, what some of the issues that, that I had was that I had to fix if I wanted to command more money in my life, right? And at first it was about money because that was my biggest struggle. That was my biggest issue. So I learned and I learned and I learned and I realized that I had a communication issue. So I started, I hired a communications coach. I started practicing on YouTube. I started doing all of this different stuff just to help me learn how to speak better. And then after I started doing all this stuff, then I started to realize, okay, well, I fixed this to some degree, but I have this other issue and this other issue and and then and then I worked my way up to just developing myself as an individual overall and I realized once I did all of this work and all of this development that there was still something missing and the thing that was missing the most was the fact that I was going and working at these companies and I was working for all of these hours in the city in Manhattan and I had a nice apartment in New York and everything like that but I was working non-stop and I felt like I was enslaved to my money. And I would go to work in the morning time, I would leave the house at like six o'clock in the morning, and then I would come back home and get home by like 10 o'clock at night because if I happened to miss one train, I would have to wait. And I was taking the Long Island Railroad, so the train came like every couple hours, right? And so like that was the issue. And I was burnt out, man, I was burnt out. And uh, that's when I realized that I needed to take control. And I didn't like the fact that people that I worked with wasn't like me in any capacity because I'm black. And most people that I worked with were white. So they couldn't relate to the things that I would relate to. The culture was so different and I couldn't talk about certain things with them. So it was hard to relate. So even though they never put me in a position to feel like an outsider, I felt like an outsider because of what was happening in general right i never felt like anybody was trying to uh belittle me or bother me or like not promote me because of the color of my skin or anything like that and that never happened to me but i did feel like i couldn't relate to these people and so i said to myself i wanted to build something that i can build these connections through myself right and so that's when i realized what i needed to do i needed to build my own thing and there's been trials and tribulations and things that have happened and things that things that have gone wrong for sure i mean i've lost a lot of money and i've made a lot of money you know like i've made i was in the one top one you know i'm still at this point in the top one percent of earners um but well i wouldn't say it fluctuates so i'm not gonna say that you know i'd say like i'd say like two percent my, my month to month really fluctuates a lot uh but anyways i made a lot of money right and what I will say is that um, the biggest lesson that I've learned from making all this money is that once you make all of this money, you start to feel lost. And this is me just being completely honest. Because once you hit the goal, the next thing that you are gonna wanna do is hit the next goal, and the next goal, and the next goal. And it's always gonna be a chase towards making more and more and more money. And because that number is infinite and never stops, you become like emotionally attached to that outcome to like oh i want to hit this much i want to hit that much i want to hit this much and you realize that it's so superficial because you'll never be happy from chasing that right and you have to make a decent amount of money to even come across these thoughts because at that point you're just bored i, I feel like i'm just bored i'm doing the same thing over and over again and that's when i realized that i needed to i needed to focus on a larger purpose and so like that's a whole transition that you go through as an individual when you're going on this journey. But I promise you, if I knew the stuff that I knew now, I would build a business that focused on allowing me to have freedom for me to work on my purpose or build a business around my purpose. But the only problem with building a business around your purpose is that when you build a business around your purpose, you tend to feel like the business that you've built around your purpose it feels superficial because there's a money aspect to it, right? So the reason why I'm going to volunteer and help kids and stuff like that is because that's one of my purposes in life. But I don't at the same time simultaneously want to make money off of that. Like I just want to do it because that's what's in my heart. So I think there's certain things in life that you have to have that you lead with your heart first. And then there's other things in your life that you have because you need to make money to eat. And it's okay to separate those two things. They don't have to be conjoined together. 
But you need to make a decision and a distinction for what you have claimed that is in your life. Right? So, anyways, I say all this to say that, you know, you can build the dream, the life of your dreams, but you cannot build the life of your dreams if you haven't clearly defined it yet. So you need to define what it is that you want to accomplish. You need to derive that define that definition off of past experiences and past feelings, right? Like you need to be able to feel it. And then you need to put something together so that you know that this is a planet you have that you can stick to. And you need to make sure that you're always aiming towards that. And if you do that, you will live a life that you never thought imaginable. If you watch this whole video, I don't even know if my lighting is good because it's, it's pretty harsh because of the sun. But if you watch this whole video, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.